a green mass where open water should be. For decades, the problem at Hadebeesport Dam in northern South Africa has been growing exponentially. The lake is overgrown with water hyacinth, a plant from South America, now clogging bodies of water throughout Africa. The invasive plant grows extremely fast. The ecological consequences are dramatic. Combating the plant has been difficult despite intense research. Water hyacinth is one of the world's most um, problematic aquatic weeds. It's been present on Hardapespa Dam since the 1970s, and it's a massive problem. Um, they've tried to remove it manually through herbicide applications, but it's still um, a massive problem. Um, and because it can cover up to 40% um, of the dam surface. Researchers in South Africa have been trying to control the invasive plant for years. Well sealed off from the environment, scientists are looking for the water hyacinth's natural enemies. And they've made a big find that's only four millimeters in size. The inconspicuous water hyacinth grasshopper is also a native of South America. The insects reproduce just as rapidly as the water hyacinths, and the little guys have a big appetite. In as much as it's a challenge to raid this a plant hopper, we have been successful. We keep every record of insect that is coming out of this facility. Just over 10 years, we have released over a million insects uh, in this facility. Last year, we have about uh, over 300,000 that we have released throughout the country. The procedure is not without its dangers. There are examples worldwide of species used for this purpose becoming pests themselves. Lengthy testing procedures are in place to prevent that. One of the major concerns we have in biological control is that an insect that we release could feed another plant species. So we mitigate that in this facility by testing these candidate insects on various plant species, including native species and crop plants. And we need to do this testing to make sure that the insects that we release are what we call host specific. This testing is very thorough and sometimes can take years. It's important for this because once an insect is released, we can't get them back. The tests for the water hyacinth locust are finally complete. The bugs are now being collected and packed for transport. Together with a leaf of their favorite food, they're on their way to the Hantabisport Dam. Rosalie Smith of the Center for Biological Control sees to it herself that the insects reach their destination. The denser the water hyacinths grow, the better it is for their little enemy. They can multiply here quickly. Our approach with releasing the plant hoppers is using them as a green herbicide. So as many uh, as releases as possible early in the summer, uh, that allows the uh, populations to build up quickly. Um, and that also just um, allows them to damage the plants as soon as possible so that the plants don't expand their growth over the dam. Water hyacinths form dense mats that drift across the lake. When they collide, their underwater roots become entangled and block out any light. Gradually, a huge, dense carpet of plants forms. They can completely overgrow bay areas, which is not only an ecological problem, but an economic one too. Many people at the dam live from tourism. Each year, columns of workers remove the plants from the water with long rakes. It's a slow and laborious process that only works on smaller waters. In huge areas like this, though, the tiny helpers have to step in. The traces of their work can be seen on the water hyacinth's leaves. Holes and brown areas testify to the success of the organic pest control. The nibbled on and dead plants drop to the ground and slowly decompose underwater. You can also see them from space. Within two years, the growth on the dam has decreased from 40 to just 5 percent. This is a site where we did frequent inundative releases of the plant hopper. Um, and we know they're here in high numbers because they jump around as I pick up a plant. Um, and what their damage 
look like is they cause the leaves to become brown. The leaves also um, recoil on themselves. Um, and so the plants in this site is heavily damaged. And that's basically what we would like for the rest of Harabes Bodem. In the evening light, the success of the operation can be seen particularly well. Swarms of grasshoppers fly over the water hyacinths. Nevertheless, the plant will probably never really disappear. It spreads too quickly. Even so, large open water areas have re-emerged on the Hardebesport Dam since their introduction. This promising result could lead to the grasshoppers being used on other infested waters.